Welcome to the Watson Curtsy Mansion's third floor ballroom. We have various rooms off the ballroom, and this is one of them. And we're currently exhibiting the works of George Erickson, otherwise known as Eugene Ivard. Mr. Erickson was an artist and a teacher at Academy High School teaching art. And this is one of his works that he went by the name George Erickson, his real name, A Stream in Winter. We currently have two of his paintings in our collection of the impressionistic style that he did under his real name. But what Mr. Erickson did is he also painted a lot for other things in a different style. And he went by the name Eugene Ivard. Let's just talk a little first about Mr. Erickson. He was born in 1893 in St. Paul, Minnesota, but then he moved here to Erie in 1921 after leaving the Army, and then he taught, like I said, at Academy High School. While teaching, he became a freelance artist, and he worked for several companies doing commercial illustrations. So Mr. Erickson was a contemporary of someone by the name of Norman Rockwell, who also painted for different magazines and advertisements. The one thing that people love about Eugene Ivard's work, the freelance artist, is his use of eerie children as his models. So we have a list of all the various young people that he used as models. I think he paid them maybe 50 cents a sitting or 50 cents a day. I don't recall that exactly. But they're very bright, all of his paintings. And they, are, they all use children, mainly boys. We're finding mainly boys as models, but there are some girls here as well. And he would do either mock-ups that you're seeing, or he would do a quick oil sketch before he would work on these paintings. And they were in Saturday Evening Post and other magazines of the day. Monarch Foods was one of the big contractors that he worked with. So he would paint the actual painting, then they would take pictures of it and put it for the magazine ads. We have several more of George Erickson's works in our collection, or Eugene Ivard, same person. Uh, we just had this small exhibit that was produced by an intern two summers ago. He did a terrific job. And the intern picked this as his project to work on because his great uncle was one of these child models. And the great uncle, Jim Dwyer, became a plumber and the plumbing business is still around today. So we have a picture here of the actual young Jimmy Dwyer and this little boy here wearing the red sweater happens to be him. So it's a wonderful snapshot of eerie, of youth, of sunshine, of bright, of color. And it's a collection we definitely enjoy having here at the Hagen History Center.